sorry if you hear little breaks in the audio. I want to record it in chunks so that if I, you know, mess up and uh, whatever, that I don't have to go back and redo the whole thing. But again, uh, my motivation for this is to, uh, you know, just get more information out to people, tell people about Jesus, bring more people in, and uh, just get the truth out there because there's a lot of people wasting their time on YouTube watching uh, car chases and music videos and all that kind of stuff. But let me get to the topic that I wanted to uh, bring up, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this kind of stuff. Before I got saved, I believed in aliens and UFOs, uh, which is not something that's uh, too far-fetched these days, really. I was, uh, I don't know, I was interested in it just like anybody else. I'd watch, like, History Channel stuff and this and that and, you know, uh, listen to these abduction experiences and everything and you know if you sit around and think about it the universe is huge you know it's I mean for the human mind it kind of makes sense to think well maybe there is something out there but after I got saved I went to the uh, creation museum it's on the border of uh, Kentucky and Ohio and the guy that made it uh, the guy that built it his name is Ken Ham. I guess he's from Australia. You can tell he's got a good Australian accent. Uh, he rides kangaroos to work and stuff. But uh, I got one of his books, and it's called, uh, Ans I think it's the New Answers book or something like that. And it covered the, uh, the subject of aliens and UFOs. And he really went into the whole Genesis 6 thing, talking about how... Uh, the sons of God came down and saw that, you know, the daughters of men were fair and beautiful and uh, had children with them. And sorry, I don't know the verse uh, verbatim, but I think most of you get the idea, you know, and they became, they became the Nephilim and, uh, you know, giants, men of renown, all this kind of stuff. And that is what caused the, uh, the flood, you know, Noah's flood. Uh, a lot of that you can read about in the book of Enoch, which I think is kind of fascinating, but, you know, that, that's a whole different dispute. Anyway, there's been a whole lot of stuff in the news about um, aliens and UFOs, uh, a lot of recent, uh, excuse me, <coughs> a lot of recent uh, UFO sightings. Uh, there's always crop circles and all that junk, but... I did a video a little while back about Obama doing the, uh, you know, disclosing that aliens are real and that UFOs are real and all this nonsense. Well, uh, a couple days ago, there was also an article called, uh, you know, you can Google this headline. The name of it was E.T. Phone Rome. Uh, Rome, like as in Rome, Italy. And it was talking about how the Vatican and the Pope, uh, I don't think the quote came specifically from the Pope, but what they were saying was that you know, we believe that it's possible that extraterrestrials exist and we may, uh, you know, encounter them someday and, you know, we need to research this kind of thing and, you know, if there's going to be an encounter, we need to be ready for it and prepare the church and all this kind of stuff. Well, most of us true Christians know that uh, Catholicism is uh, not true Christianity. I mean, I'm not saying there aren't people there that are saved, but for the most part, it's a cult. Uh, so if they're uh, if they're trying to set a, set the stage for you know also disclosing alien activity and uh, you know this kind of stuff, they're on board with the rest of them, and it's all setting up for the, the strong delusion. Uh, subscribers of mine like uh, Empire Universe, he'll tell you that you know, he's got a personal testimony that aliens are demons and. Uh, Oh, I just watched one the other night. I'm trying to think of who it was. Forgive me for getting for forgetting your name, but I'll uh, I'll annotate and uh, put it on there. So you got the Vatican. They're coming out talking about UFOs, uh, alien encounters, and all this kind of stuff. NASA just released today. Uh, this is something else you can Google. NASA released today that uh, they found significant amounts of water on the moon. Now, there's really no other purpose to this except for to back up the claim that ETs and aliens, UFOs are real. You know, saying that uh, 
Yeah, this was some kind of rest stop for the for the aliens when they were coming to Earth and all this bull crap. But <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, but a little while back, the uh, uh, NASA had a mission where they were going to bomb the moon, pretty much. Uh, there were rumors about that, saying they were testing that new mop weapon, uh, mass ordnance penetrator, all this kind of stuff. But in reality, they were using it as uh, this is all a setup for the strong delusion. Uh, I believe that the uh, aliens and ETs, UFOs, are going to be used to cover up the rapture. Uh, sorry, post-trivers. I'm a pre-triver. It's going to stay that way. But they're going to need a pretty good excuse to explain away why millions of people just uh, disappeared in the blink of an eye, the twinkling of an eye. So they go on to, uh, excuse me, they go on to say that, uh, you know, they found significant amounts of water, and uh, we all know that you need water to support life. So they're going to claim that, you know, there's probably uh, microorganisms and all kinds of nonsense in there. Uh, another good video that I'd like to refer you guys to, look up a channel called P.P. Simmons. Uh, you guys have probably seen this, but he's got a new video. I don't agree with his video about the Nephilim. Uh, I think he's way off on that one, but look up his other video. Something about uh, aliens being demons. I don't remember the exact title, but that's a pretty good video. And what he states is that the nearest galaxy to us is, uh, oh, what did he say? I think it was Alpha Centauri. And it was, uh, it just, a huge amount of light years away and pretty much what he got down to saying was that it would take uh, if UFOs were coming from this other universe it would take them eight years round trip to travel to and from Earth you know what <laughs> what creature in their right mind would spend eight years of their life traveling here just to show up in the sky and maybe mutilate some cows sounds like a big waste of time but I wish more people knew that this was deception because you go all over YouTube and you find all kinds of people talking about reptilians and greys and uh, I forget the other one, uh, Anunnaki's or something. And people are just eating this stuff up, you know, hook, line, and sinker. And for somebody that doesn't have spiritual discernment, it's a fairly easy story to buy. You know, that's why it's the strong delusion. Imagine if you see you know, an alien ship over the White House and uh, a couple big, tall, gray aliens get out and start saying, oh, let's uh, uh, let's guide you guys to one world government and unity and peace, and uh, hey, here's our buddy Maya Treya. Uh, we're, uh, we're real tight with this guy. Listen to him. <laughs> but, I don't know. That, that's just what I wanted to talk about. You know, it's, uh, it's a strong delusion. There's been a lot of setup for it. Uh, and I especially think that since Obama and the Vatican and uh, even NASA are supporting this idea and there's been more and more information about it lately, I think it's safe to say that the rapture's getting close. Satan wants to have his pieces in place so that when it does happen, he's got a way to explain it away. Uh, I don't know when or if Obama will disclose it. Uh, perhaps he'll just wait until after the rapture happens and then say, oh yeah, well we were going to tell you anyway. So, uh, I hope I haven't bored you guys to death. I kind of think it's an interesting topic and well worth discussing. Uh, but this is the first edition of Fire Charger Radio coming to a conclusion. Uh, I pray that anybody that still believes in UFOs or any of that stuff, I pray that the Holy Spirit just gets in there and gives you eyes to see and ears to hear and I pray that uh, you don't fall for this strong de delusion because it's going to be uh, it's going to be very convincing um, you know the Bible says that even the elect could be deceived by this which I can see happening so uh, God bless you all uh, I know you guys pray for me and I pray for all of you and uh, I just I hope that this is helpful to someone and it's not just some long drawn out boring video about me talking so uh, I hope you all are well and I will talk to you next time